All right, morning, everybody. Uh, it's Thursday. Got the uh, today's pre-market insight. Um, following a, a you know a, some a very interesting um, second half of the market yesterday. After that, uh, you know, after uh, Powell, after the Fed, you know, stuff went down at twelve. Um, you know, it was that we saw a. a you know, the bulls jumped right into the market, you know, right at 12. That was really interesting. Um, I didn't, I actually ended up not taking any trades on that. Um, I, you know, because I was, yeah, I had other things to do and a lot, a lot of other things going on. So I missed that. I didn't, plus I didn't, that's the time I'm, I plan on not trading anyway. So, you know, kind of sucks I missed that whole ride. But um, anyway, for today, you know, continuation of the, of some federal um, of some Fed activity you see we got the FOMC at a uh, 1400 um, it's another one of those days where we usually either see like very little volatility or we may have a small move and and, um, and then not much after that you know in the morning session up until the um, you know um, the up until 1400 you know up until that you know that inf information come out um, historically, I can't remember uh, too many times when we had back-to-back -back days like this, so I'm not sure. Um, but let's just go to the charts. Let's just go to the charts. Um, all right. So just looking, that's looking at the daily. Um, I wouldn't expect you know any more bulls today you see we got if you look you know over here we got some resistance over here as well plus this is a, a pretty strong um, bullish candle so um, the chances of us continuing you know while it can happen uh, but the chances of us continuing strong bullish um, it's not too likely so I would look for um, some kind of pullback or maybe we just chop around a little bit today at least up until the uh, up until 1400 um, but so far we are yeah we so far we in the we having some pullback um, nothing you know nothing too serious right now um, it's pretty moderate pullback we, we're definitely bearish at the moment uh, you see we running into some support from yesterday evening um, and you know, I would, I would expect some maybe leading up into the bell, some a little bit of uh, rest, or maybe some um, we pull back up in here into like the fifty uh, moving average or something. You know, have a little bit of rest to pull back, and then you know once the market opens, then we may have some. You know, we have that first couple of minutes of volatility, and then the the market will decide a direction, but. Um, just look from the, just from the daily candle, I would expect to I would be looking for a, either a bearish. Why well, are we looking for a bearish trade today, or no trade at all? Um, if we if the market opens and we pop higher, um, I think an area to watch would be you know we definitely want to see what it does at um, at yesterday's high if. Uh, See how it responds to that, and if we if it if the if it does uh, break, you know that area right there when the market opens, um, before just jumping in, I wouldn't just jump into it. I wouldn't say I would just jump into it, but I would you know wait for a retest, and um, before I would you know think about going bullish. So um, that's it on the on Nasdaq. Um, for the overall uh, volume strength, um, pretty much the same as yesterday. All of the most of the volume is in uh, crude oil. However, the Euro Forex um, futures they're at 90k right now, which is pretty strong uh, comparatively, uh, relative to you know what we usually get. So um, there's a good chance before the bell that it, it surpasses the 100k of volume. Um, Matter of fact, I can so you can see where we're at. So I'm I'm looking on Sierra chart, but 
I can see it here too, but I gotta, you know. So right now in the NASDAQ, we only have 58 uh, K of volume, which is, you know, that's pretty normal. Um, nothing out of the norm there. Uh, it's the only other, yeah, crude oil, we have some good strength. Um, we got 215 uh, K of volume over there. And since we're here, we might as well go ahead and, and do the, and uh, check this out. So we're, um, on the daily, we're rolling over from yesterday. Um, I guess it has some, let's see, because it also popped a little bit. All right, so we had uh, some good sell-off yesterday. Um, and this looks like, you know, we could continue going bearish from uh, this, you know, this flag pattern here. Which is already it's 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 traded bearish, you know, um, pretty far already. So, um, if I was to take a trade, I'll be you know I'll be looking to take something. If I was to trade crude oil, I'll look I would be looking to uh, just be in and out of it. Um, I'd be looking for like a short, uh, quick target. I wouldn't you know try to definitely wouldn't try to take a home run play here on crude oil since we're we've already. Um, dropped. Um, let's see. Since since October, it's only like a couple months. We've already dropped, you know, uh, about twenty four points. You know, thirty one percent. So that's um, that's you know that's a pretty significant move without a, a, a real pullback. So if I was to take a trade bearish on this, I would be you know really cautious and and. Um, just I be I'll only look for a trade, you know, just to get in and out of the trade. Um, we pull the weekly to see if we're running into any. Right. So this area has shown a lot of strong support, you know, looking uh, looking at the past. This one to show it to me better. All right. Right, yeah, so this is a pretty significant area. Um, really interesting. Um, well, like, yeah, like I said, uh, I would be, I would definitely be looking for something quick. This is, I would see, I see this area as you know, with the potential of being you know really choppy. Um, we could definitely continue to break lower uh, and and have a pretty strong move lower, but you know. Since we already have, we since we dropped so far already, um, I would just be a little cautious. All right, so that's crude oil. We can we kind of reference this time back here in uh, 2014, same uh, time period of the of the year. Um, almost doing the you know exact same thing. We slowed down into Christmas, so yeah, we'll be. That's, it'll be interesting to see what crude oil does today. Um, going over to gold. All right, so I got to bring up the the actual current contract to really, because we there is a, I guess there is a, a rollover coming soon. Um, we haven't officially. Oh, actually, we have. Okay, that's what's going on. So we've already rolled over to G contract. Okay, that look at Sierra chart because it over in Sierra it does it automatically. Um. So let's go ahead and bring up we get G. All right. Just give me a few seconds to get everything. That's that's not what I wanted to do. What in the world? Get everything situated. All right. So all the volume was over here, even though uh, the um, well, yeah, okay, the trading looks pretty good over here too. So. Um, 
All right, so we got 85k of volume in uh in gold. Um, I'll just keep this up. Um, so right now we're trading bullish. Look over here, we're currently up you know 0.30 percent. Um, it's more than three points and um kind of resting right now. Uh, typically the the previous patterns have been in the pre market uh, after hours we get the move and then. During the normal U.S. hours, we don't uh, see too much movement. Every once in a while, and we may get a uh, a move, but we got a nice little interesting um, seen a lot of uh, resistance, sort of a almost sort of a a uh, double top. Um, seen a lot of resistance up here at this area. Um, I think we range bound on the day on the daily chart, so. Um, it looks like we're rolling over on the five minute chart. So, uh, you know, I could definitely see us, um, maybe even, maybe, you know, having a, um, you know, the bears come in right here or, you know, continue bouncing around sideways. Um, if you look at the daily, you know, that's not really, um, we don't, you know, as we've seen in the, we go lately we haven't had a lot of you know trade activity going on throughout the day so so far we're bullish but you know we can continue going uh neutral i would say neutral to bearish all right so let's move on over to the euro and we are we've had a little um had a, a little bullish retracement but yes yes from yesterday that's from the you know the big picture or from yesterday, it was just a little continue after the pullback from the um, same momentum that drove uh, the indices, uh, the Nasdaq and the S and P. Um, it pulled back a little bit, had a little um, bounced and and had a little continuation from the bulls of yesterday, and now we we you know got a little um, we got some significant sell off. Uh, I was actually looking to. I was I saw this earlier. I thought about you know pulling up TS Trader and taking a, a trade, but I decided not to because of the time. You know I don't want to I don't want to start. Uh, I don't want to be trading all over the place. Even though you know I, I glanced at the chart and I saw you know an opportunity. I want to stay disciplined to my time frame, so I, I didn't take that. Um, but uh. That's a you know it's a pretty strong move bearish. Uh, we could bounce off this 50 EMA. I'm showing I'm seeing some resistance here. So um, right now we're we're bearish, um, but this is a really a little bit of um, retracement from from yesterday's move. Uh, but you know, yesterday's move was kind of out of the norm, so we'll be watching to see. You know, um, if we come back trade down into into this uh, support here, or if we have a bounce, or you know, um, and go back higher, or if we just you know have a trade sideways for the rest of the day. All right, so um, overall, I don't really, you know. Just like yesterday on these fed days, I don't get too excited about the morning session. Um, sometimes I do trade the fed news. Like on these days, I may, you know, just take, uh, have the mindset of taking like some scalps in the morning session or, you know, expect to, you know, be in and out of a trade in the morning session. And then I come back in the afternoon and trade the fed news and, you know, looking for a big play on the fed news. Um, Probably won't happen today because it's just at a time difference, and I'm usually sleep by that time. So, um, yeah, I just we'll just see what happens. Um, more than likely, I will be taking the trade today, but I, you know, I won't be. I probably won't be too aggressive. So, um, yeah. So to all of you, good luck. Um, you know, make sure you make a plan, stick to your plan, and trade your plan, and crush it. And I will see y'all for the mid-market futures.